Hello! Today we will show how to unpack and set up a system for the first time. We will use starter set SuperMP as an example. So let's start unpacking. Starter set consists modem and five super beacons. Okay, everything unpacked, so now we can take a closer look at it. So, this is a modem. It has micro USB connector, reset button. Also, you can see the few pins and pins for external devices. Modem goes with micro USB cable which you can use to connect all devices from the set. So let's move to Super Beacon. It goes with M3 stickers. Uh, you can use it to stick beacons to the wall, cells. It's really hard. Okay, let's have a look. Um, here we have USB connector, antenna, also pins for external devices and microphones and five sensors and microphone okay now we need to download the latest sysw pack from marvelmind.com so go to download and download it unzip sysw pack and now we need to install a dashboard. It goes with STM32 driver. Choose a suitable version for your computer. Now we can move to software updating. Let's start from Super Beacon. Uh, you can see Deep switcher, so we need to switch it on. Let's start blinking and we can connect it to computer. Go to firmware, upload firmware and choose a file. Use near architecture for the first time. Uh, updating will take three or four minutes. Now press the default button. Do it for each device after updating. Now you also can change an address of the beacon or just write it down because we'll use it to wake beacon up. Enter the address and press enter key. After that press write changes. In default all beacons are stationary but you can make a mobile beacon. Just enable hedgehog mode. After that the beacon icon will turn to blue. If you disable the hedgehog mode so icon will turn to green and it will be a stationary beacon. Now we can move to a modem. So connect modem to your computer. Let's will start blinking. So everything is fine. Let's go to setting up of the modem. We do the same, we need to update the firmware, uh, use the same as web pack. It's so important, all devices should be flashed from the same package. In another way, system will not work correctly. And of course, we use a near system again. Firmware takes around 1-2 minutes. 
and press the fold in the end. All devices are upgraded, so now we can place our beacons. To place our beacons we can use sticks like this. Uh, also you can use 3M stickers. And uh, use special holders like this. If it's good for you. And now when modem connected to computer we can build our first 2D map in near architecture. For this, first of all, awake two stationary beacons. Map will build by itself. Okay, now we need to put a high for both stationary beacons. In my situation it's uh, 1.8. It could be different for you, so do it for both beacons. For now everything looks good, uh, but beacons still measuring a distance between them. Check a distance table. If all cells are white, you can freeze the submap. After that, awake a mobile beacon. Okay, it's up here on the map. So now we also need to put a height for it. Do the same, enter a height, and after that, press enter. So now it's good. We're also check in a distance table, and if everything good, freeze them up. Setting up of the system successfully completed. Now we can see tracking. Thank you for watching.